I'm gonna do like a cute little nursery, but it's gonna be in a different room because again, I have like this huge house, so much stuff. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the massage chair and table because I wanna, okay, hello? Because I wanna put the massage chair and table like in the nursery because I want her to feel, mm, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I want her to feel like this is like the real deal, if that makes sense. Changing station. Oh, yeah, I want the diaper pill. Let's, let's actually do the room like earth tones. Like, let's actually pay attention this time. So we're gonna have this, we can have a cute little baby situation. I wanna put, let's see, yeah. I wanna put it like close to the door so it feels like I can be close and I can hear everything that's going on. Um, what's this? Wicker basket, that can go here. Kinda like clutter a little. Okay, I don't like that color scheme. What is this? Unique sheep seat. That is actually like super cute. We can do a little, we can do some bookshelves. Oh, that's so cute. And put this on the wall. Let's see, what else do they have in here? Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> Can't nobody say they have more storage in their baby room than me. Okay, absolutely cannot say that 100%. Okay, I feel like this room is so like long and awkward though. But anyways, what's this? Sleeping bag, baby blue bassinet. Oh, I wish I had this, okay. And then let's do, let's do like two bookshelves or whatever this is. And I actually have a better idea. What does this say? Puppeteers. Why don't, because I can do the bookshelves here. Okay, let's just move this. I can put the bookshelf here. And then, okay, now I'm moving lights, crazy. Okay, then put this here. Okay, second bookshelf here. Okay, and then like they're not gonna be babies forever you know what i mean so yeah the problem with this is like i think it might do better like in the backyard or something i don't know i think that's cute though like i actually personally love it okay so we have their changing table and then their crib actually can go beside it like honestly it can go under it like how cute is that but i want to be able to see what's going on so hypothetically I, th I just think like against the wall makes the most sense. But anyways, I think this is cute. And then obviously I'm not like a professional decorator or whatever, but we're gonna figure this out. And then we can do like a cute little mirror, but not in front of the baby's bed. If you know, you know. So we'll put it in front of like the play area. So when they're playing, they can like see themselves and say, oh, I wanna walk to see myself playing, cute. Um, I think what I'm gonna do we're hoping for a girl in my head. Okay, so I think what I wanna do is put the baby bassinet here just so that I have the opportunity. And then, oh, that's so cute though. Anywho, I keep getting distracted. I want this to match the kitchen's aesthetic. So I will put it, well, where do they normally sit? I'll just put it here. I guess there it works. Um, what is this? Fitting rogue potty, hmm. mini mission crib. Oh, this is cute. How cute is this? I think this is cuter than the other one. Does it come in different colors? It does. I think this one is like, so I'll put that there. And then the travel crib. What's this? The hip bottom one. The craziest thing about having like your BB objects move on is like you have to be very careful about where you put it because you can literally put it anywhere and if they can't use it then it's kind of like a little pointless so I think that's cute in there 
And then I actually do want to look at rugs because this one's huge. Oh no, it's not. Where's the huge one? I thought the huge one had like little dinosaurs. Maybe not. This one's pretty big. It's there, the front of the door, cute. And then, you know what? I think if she's gonna have that, then it needs to be like personal because the baby needs to be able to play as well. So, I'm gonna do a cute like big dog here and I'm going to actually copy this and then this can be see that's the problem with BB move everything's like sticking out okay and then I'm gonna do a second one this can be their play area so we have what is this a lump of coal oh my gosh uh, important things for your baby. Uh, I guess I actually do need like <laughs> a dresser. Um, hmm. It's not really a lot of options. Uh, I guess I can do this one. Go this away. Cause you need like, let's be real. You need something to sit everything on. So let's do baby wipes. We're going to do some important baby things so there she has diapers so the truth i look better under you i can lose fancy folding basket okay guys i feel like that's enough clutter i feel like i do want to kind of focus on toys these toys are like a little bit scary but babies need toys scary or not i guess And I know that y'all are probably thinking, these is very much toddler toys and you're very much giving a to like a newborn baby. But you know, the important thing is, is that you're like prepared for the age up process. Um, so I definitely feel like that's okay. So I think this is very cute. And oh my gosh, like how cute is this? And this is like, will work too as a nightlight for the baby. Haters gonna hate. Can I like make it brighter though? Literally. Okay, I just have to leave and come back. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate this. Okay. So I'm gonna leave, turn on these lights. Okay. Like look how cute and cozy this looks. Honestly, I wanna put carpet like only in this room, but no, I just think that this looks so cute and cozy. Let me see. Q. A. Oh no, it's sideways. S. Anyways, I was trying out <laughs> new buttons, but look how cute this is. This looks like this room is a little bit cluttered, but I'm trying to get my life together as a mom. But it's also giving like everything it needs to give. And I just cannot get over how cute this is. What I will say is, I don't know if they have like a feeding chair. Let me see. They don't have that. Um, let's put, and you can change the color. So let's do green. Guys, this is actually ugly. <laughs> I thought it would be cuter. Maybe it's because it's green. Like, it's not ugly. It's just looks a little crazy. Um, we want to enforce that dogs are positive figures, but we also want imagination. So this will be good for that. And then, oh, that's actually kind of like very jump scary. Anyways, moon, cute, love it. Okay, and then let's put this cute little doggy calendar next to the door because why not? Cute. Oh my gosh, guys, I think. I actually did something with this room like it's probably not the best um nursery but I feel like it's something like I feel like I can see the vision very clearly hang your towels please and I want like plain colors I guess that's boring for a baby Just put his towels or her towels there oh that's so cute please um uh, this one matches the room a little better but where should I put this because I guess like right here is kind of cute like I like how it feels like full in here like 
it's like the difference between this and this you know what i mean like i feel like everything does have a space here which is why i like it but at the same time um it's just like very empty and personally i feel like i like my bedroom empty but there's something so like satisfying and cozy about this room I just don't know what it is i think i probably do but that's not the point oh no okay okay um what else what else is there anything else that should go in here robot to build smartness cars because cars are cool and we are a fast and furious family wait like ball up this car okay I think that's enough. That's enough toys. We don't want to spoil them already, you know. I don't like that. Um, uh, what can I do? So what I can do is I can put I can put that back because this is definitely short. Or I could put this here and then put that. Oh, that just is giving like okay, that's fine. What I can do with this is oh no. Let me see. Y'all see how I'm like jumping around? It's not because of like ADHD or anything. Well, I hope not. But it's simply because one thing that's perfect is like another thing that's like absolutely not. But I think that this is pretty good. I think this room is very cute. Um, I love that it's raining. I don't know. My bad. Okay. You guys know what I need to do. I need to make a path outside because I don't have a path and... okay guys that wasn't even that bad it was a little bad like that was annoying but i love this look and if anything i can just later on like correct it but i like this it's giving okay so what i'm gonna do is I, would this look more cozier like here though i feel like it would And then, actually, I'll do, and then I'll come in here, delete this, and I wonder if I can, like, let's see, that's cute. I want something in that corner, though. Maybe if I just move everything a little bit to the right. Christmas tree's taking out a little bit. Okay. Okay, I feel like this is a good place for the nursery because once they grow up, the room closer will be smarter to have a toddler. Okay, and then let's see, let's see, what else? I feel like this would be a good episode to do like the backyard in, but I feel like right now because it's cold in real life, I would not be messing with my backyard if it's cold and rainy. So therefore, it means that we don't have the children yet. So these are just guest rooms. You know what I didn't do? Okay, how many bathrooms? One, two, three. Bedrooms. One, two, three. So we will do, what's child's play? Kids just seem to learn faster here. Hmm. Eco lot. This lot moves toward eco friendliness and others. Dog hang out. Stray dogs are hanging out at this lot. Geothermal, natural heating. Um, homey. Yeah. I feel like natural light is something too. Um, what is this? 
Anyways, I feel like natural light is good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. They tricked me. What is Convival? The spacious but intimate feel makes it easier to practice charisma comedy mischief. Sure.